G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17, once again we, we, we are back in the No Crafting Challenge for realsies this time. Look, I have my little sign here. Oh, you can't see because it's all blown out because this light burns with the brightness of a million suns. But it says no crafting idiot and it sits right there. Right in front of my microphone so I don't make the same mistake again. I finally have my club, which is wonderful. I don't need my painkillers in there, but I do need this because it is dark as all ball sacks out here and I can't see a sausage. So let's grab this or jump down here. It's 4 a.m. It is time for me to leave. I don't need you guys anymore. Just them away okay let's go on a big whirlwind adventure where are we going first we've got a farm over here a farm right here and there was oh god that's super blown out and hard to see down here there was this as well the um the triple building that has a shotgun the siren so i think i might i might go hit this first then that farm because i know the farms reasonably well i'll avoid that doggo's building like the absolute plague because i ain't got time for that i might just quickly go through here get the loot out of the top there's usually good loot at the top of a barn but more importantly lots of zombies that are relatively easy to kill for extra xp goodness like this one look at her just like taking a nap in there she's like cuddling up against the rib cage she's having a lovely little kip ow what was that oh you snaky dick Oh, are you serious? There was a snake hiding in that little cubicle, and then I had to run away, and I woke everybody up. You! You slippery serpent noodle fuck! You just caused me a whole world of trouble. I'm gonna burn you to death. Come here. No, stop wiggling around. Stop sliming, you bloody bastard! Just come here! There we go. God, they're so hard to hit, because they wiggle around, and they just can't line them up for a good shot. Let's put one into you. And, oh god, they're all coming. Okay, put one into you. Time for the club. No more arrows. No more wasting my arrows on these Muppets. Use the club that God gave you and whip it out and knock their heads in. God damn it. Snakes don't give you fat. Oh, I was really hoping I'd get some fat out of that. Although, uh, steak is actually worth a little bit, which is a good thing. There's a Yeti outside. All right, if I missed anything here, I was just cruising through here. I was trying to get a stealth shot on the zombie in there and a snake bit me on the ass. Zero out of ten would not recommend. Is there anyone else in here? Not really. So let's just get this piggy and just go like this and just clob him right in the face with a stealth shot. Boom. Ah, he didn't die. Okay, now we did. Whew. Okay, give me your fat. I don't need your meats. I don't need your pork. I don't need your bones. I just need that gooey, gooey fatness. Mm -mm -mm. Thank God you are as fat as a pig because I appreciate you donating your belly to my health. Oh, some blue dye. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. I still got my purple dye in my hunting rifle. Very, very excited about that. Uh, oh, I had a hunting knife. What was I butchering with my axe? I forgot I had the hunting knife. Get this and put it down here. Let's put, put, the, put the hammer away for now. Don't need that right now. I'm going to modify this. Make it a blue wrench. There we go. Okay. Who else is in here? Anyone? No one. Destroyed workbench. You're going to be good for... <gasps> oh, steel fire axe or iron fire axe. I don't know. What do you do? You do block damage 60 and you do block damage 86. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use you instead. Even though you're not quite as good... I, I mean, you're not quite level, but I mean, you're just going to be better. You're better in almost every way. I mean, I can't repair you, so I'll keep you for the moment. Okay. Good, 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 good. That's a good time. I can't see anything in here. Let's bang the torch up on the wall and get destroyed. Well, there's a lot of Jeffreys down here and one car, and I kind of want to explode the car to make them all just kind of kill themselves. Could you do that for me, please? Put you, actually, I know I don't want you to do that because then I don't get your experience. Take, come here. No, damn it. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I really need to level up my sexual T-Rex. Clubs are going to be all important with this, given that I die. My ammo is so hard to find. I can't make myself arrows. I really need to level up my, my sex T-Rex. Put one into you. And go, oh, into you. Okay, this is looking good. That Yeti is coming through the wall at the back there, which makes me feel not so great about this. I'm very, very thirsty. Just grab one of you so my stamina gets up quicker. There are Yetis everywhere. Turns out farms in the snow are not a good time. The good news is it's definitely easier to loot the farmhouse when I've been here before and I know where like most of the stuff is. For example, there's one, a couple of guys just over here to my left. He hasn't woken up yet, so let's quickly go like this. He didn't die, but that's okay. Not wait, Don't waste another arrow on him. Run over and boom. Wow, this guy's tough. He copped a stealth arrow to the face, didn't die. Copped a club to the face, didn't die. Can you all just like fall through? I'd very much appreciate if you could just make this a little easier for me and not make me have to kill every single one of you. Go just like, like this. Nope, you're not going to die. Why can't you just die for me? Why can't you just do me this one favor and sacrifice your life to my XP greater good? 
Oh! Oh, where did you come from? Oh my god, that was a lucky drop. Down onto the next... Oh, he jumped, he jumped. Jump over him. Get in the doorway. Oh my god. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, bad. You know what? This calls... This calls just to get the job done. Put one into you. Where are you? Good luck. You die, please. I... What was that? You were like unconscious and you just jumped towards me. That's not okay. Oh my god. Okay, that was a bad time. That spider zombie scared me half to death. He came at me out of nowhere. Suddenly, he was just right underneath my feet. Up we go. I'd very much like some uh, stamina back, please, because there are lots of yetis down below. Look at him. Look at him. There's like lurking around. There's a hoodie and a zombie, uh, as a yeti rather, all waiting for me to miss the jump like that. Oh, Josh, parkour is not your strength. Oh, that's some good time. Oh, that's a good time. Storage pockets and some fucking shotgun mods and stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Happy with that. Uh, is it just just you? Okay, I thought there was more up here. Let's go like this. Grab my old axe and power stroke. Damn it, I thought I could do it in one. I need to level up before I can do that. Work is this box. There's so much noise downstairs. I don't like this anymore. I just want to go home to my normal barn where it's safe and I only break my legs in hay bales. Uh, oh, some wood frames. Ah, very useful wood frames. I will take that instead of a hunting knife. Now I can climb some of my buildings without ruining the entire playthrough. Okay, got that sorted. Let's, um... Oh, I don't I don't have a shotgun, which is very upsetting because I have the sword off, but I can put that trigger group onto nothing because I have a level one pistol. Okay, that's rather upsetting, but I can put the, watch it, the triple storage pockets onto my steel armor. Boom, just like that. Extra carrying capacity. Lovely, lovely. Can't forget to raid. Oh, that was a very close jump. Can't forget to raid the uh, secret stash in here. Let's jump over the side so we don't ruin our exit strategy for later. Grab you. Oh, you're some good stuff too. The, uh, the schematic, not so helpful because I can't do anything with it. Scrap the iron boots. Military, wear the military gloves. Look at that. I'm almost full of gubs again. I've only raided one joint. Up we go. All right, let's go to the next one, the other barn, because this one's infested with yetis and dudes, and I just don't want to deal with it. Oh, okay. There we go. Is there a fast way down? I don't think so. I think I can just drop off this ladder. Actually, oh, God. I don't want to drop off this ladder because there's a lot of Jeffries down here. And drop. And don't break your legs. Okay. That's the next barn. Off we go. Thank you, guys. Look, it's yours. You can have the barn. It's all yours. There's plenty of, like, decomposing pigs in there. Go eat to your heart's content. There's another barn. How many fucking barns are there in this place? Now that I have some frames, I might even just be a little bit cheeky and just go like this. Rather than going through that whole place, even though the... Oh, actually, I got a, I got a level, didn't I? Uh, level two points available. Right, what do I need? I need pack mule, first of all, because I can't carry all this stuff anymore. And what was the other thing I'm going to need? I think it's going to have to be something to do with melee, yeah? Because I'm relying on that club so much. Uh, oh, sex T-Rex. Yeah, let's go sex T-Rex. Okay, that's all the points. Next one's going to be actual melee perks. Up we go. Jump into here. Yeah, why bother going through the entire barn? Other than the XP, though, if I, if I can just, like, build my way up and get all the loot at the top. We're here for loot. <gasps> oh, that's a great time. That's a great hidden stash. That's so much better than all the other ones I've ever found. Sneak on over to here and hop. Oh, look at that. Not a perfect shortcut. I might still go down and murder some zombies just because I can. Oh my god, in case I miss one of these jumps. If I miss one of these jumps, then I'm going to be in some real strife. Easy, buddy. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm just going to stay here. Do you guys just want to like jump down the bottom? Yep, there you go. Just like, just kind of drop, drop. Drop, your bastard. Get out. There we go. All right. Thank you for vacating the treasure room. I will now have it all to myself. Thank you very, very much. How generous of them. The good thing about being up here to start with is I can actually just go through and get stealth shots on all the Jeffreys I want and kind of take them out before I even have to worry about them. Like that. Look at that. There's one... Like the two guys were in the treasure room saw alive down there somewhere. But I can just find it against like this and put one straight through the back of their noggin. It's perfect. I mean, I'm running out of arrows. So I might have to actually start going down and beating them up with my hands. But in the treasure room, I actually found some good stuff. Found an auger, a bunch more tools, which I've now scrapped a couple of them. Some more silver nuggets and stuff. So if I ever find a trader, I'm going to be set to go. I've got so much good stuff to give him. But I need to start like sorting out what in here I don't need anymore so I can just free up some space. I'm so overloaded already. Oh, and a chainsaw and recog and vitamins and bullets. Oh my God. So I have the two, like, power weapons, uh, not weapons, tools, all ready to go. Anyone else in here? There's usually more. Take my arrow back. Thank you. All right, now it's time to bust out the old club like that. 
Oh, no, never mind. There's a guy. Whenever I can take a skill shot, I always will. Because skill shots are the freaking bomb diggity. All right, I think I've got about as much out of this as I possibly can. I'm healing up, which is nice. Uh, everything else in here is looking rather lovely. Got a fair bit of pork. I, th I need to start going through it and just like establishing what is more valuable to me and what's not. Because I just have too much crap here. 75 for schematics. That's actually pretty valuable. I need my torch because it's dark as dicks lately. Um, oh, you're only worth 115. Hunting is useful. Food. Oh, so this is what I mean. There's so much. I mean, I'm going to scrap the anvil. I have no use for the anvil. It's only worth 36. Get rid of it. Duct tape. Can't use it. Get rid of it. Gold nuggets. You're actually really valuable. Leather. Uh, I don't know. Mechanical parts. This is the thing. You start getting like nitty gritty. And it's really hard to know what I need and what I don't. I'm going to make my way back to stash two, which is only like 30 feet away. I've, it's already midday. I've hit two buildings and I'm full of actually really good stuff. So I'm going to go back to my little stash over here and see if I can find anywhere else to uh, find some storage in there. Maybe some more trash piles or whatever. Whatever I can find and just get it all cooking inside there. I love this purple rifle. It's so freaking sexy. I know I do have the marksman rifle, but that gives me 50 damage per shot, whereas the hunting rifle gives me 60. So like I'm I'm backing myself in for the hunting rifle. In fact, I don't think the the actual die gives me anything extra. Does it Let's take you off 55? So it's only well, it's only five better the, the hunting rifle. But I don't get consecutive shots. See, that's the this is the thing. You've got to weigh out the pros and cons. And I think I'm just gonna back it in because it just looks so cool like this. Everything that's not needed. What are the store animal fat there? Everything that's not needed goes in the box. So all of you, I don't I'm gonna keep the shotgun shells in the hope I find a shotgun one of these days. Oh, I mean, it'd be so nice. That that bloody marksman rifle, if it was level three, I could put the purple die on and like the trigger group and make it an absolute weapon. But I can't do that right now. So I'll keep that in here for now. Uh, torch, the schematics can stay in there. I need to find, I really desperately need to find a trader. I really, really do. All of you, everything in here. I don't need all you guys right now. I will come back for you when I find said trader. I just need, I need to not be like, um, possessive about stuff. I need to not think, oh, I want to keep it on me because it'd be kind of be fun. Anything that doesn't have value to me right now needs to get left behind. It's getting so desperate, I'm storing an auger and a chainsaw and a bunch of tools inside a freaking bird's nest. That's how, that's how close we are. Look at that. It's in, oh, behind all that stuff. Inside a bird's nest, there's a chainsaw. Sure. Why not? Let's just, let's just completely throw sense and logic out the window. I can stash a chainsaw in a bird's nest. Of course you can. Uh, what else have we got in here? Anything else I don't need? Honey, I'm going to keep on me. Frame's going to keep on me. All of this stuff is valuable to me. Uh, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. I think we're about at the point where I've stashed as much stuff as I can. Stash two is full to the brim. It is absolutely chock-a-block in there. So let's quickly go and hit that triple. I don't know where this... Uh, oh, God, my map is still all sorts of cooked. I don't know where this trader is going to be. But I need to find it relatively quickly. I need to find somewhere that I can actually set up a base. I, I hopefully there's a building semi, uh, semi nearby. Somewhere where I can stash some stuff. Oh boy. The, the early days of the no crafting is the hardest. Because just like having storage and... Well, I'm trying to find storage and trying to find the trader. Because the trader is all important. It's just so stressful. Once you get that, you can kind of relax a little bit. But for the moment, I am pinging. Oh, right. Here we go. This is going to be a whole thing. These dungeons are no joke and should not be underestimated at all. Where's... Oh, that's the way in. There's an open door over there. I see. There was two open signs and I got confused. Plus, I'm really desperate to get into the working stiffs and get some good shit out of there. All right. Crouch on. Let's sneak in the front door and try not to cause too much of a ruckus. If I cause too much noise in here, I'm going to regret it. Let's get a stealth shot in this dude. Oh, no, missed. Oh. There we go. Oh, he didn't care. Oh, boy. He was coming for a swing. That was a bad time. Don't wake anyone else up. There's a Chelsea. How you doing, Chelsea? Good to see you. It's been a little while. I feel like I haven't seen you in a, a fair amount of time. Ah, it's, good. it's good to be beating your head in again. I've missed you. Oh, a better club and some nerdy glasses. I'll take all of that. I don't need you. I'll wear my nerdy glasses. I already have nerdy glasses. So I'll scrap them and I'll scrap that. All right. Club, uh... Sorry, wrench, you don't need to be blue. I got startled by a Yeti. You can take you out and I can put you onto here. Blue club, 
There we go. All right, let's replace you with that and scrap that one. Oh, I've been wanting a better club. I was just thinking to myself, if I want to get anything out of this little raid, if I had to choose one thing to get, it would be a better club. And I got a mildly better club. I would... Oh, tree seed. Oh, wait, this isn't Dishong Tower. I'm so used to, like, looking forward to finding a tree seed that finding one is very, very exciting. But... Yeah, a better club was what I wanted. A better club is what I got. And it's almost still in the first room. Man, Josh of like a month ago would be so prevalent right now. There's like four zombies coming at me and I'm using a club. That would have been unheard of for previous me. It just wouldn't have happened. It was bow or nothing. Can't kill you. Come on, one more. Get enough stuff for one more hit. Uh, ah, there we go. Oh, I'm rolling in XP points. I'm almost up to another level so I can spend some more. Search all the old trash because you never know where you might... Ooh, automatic weapons. I'll take that. You never know where you might find another little vial of Jawoodle Purple. And if you can find Jawoodle Purple, you can find the best things in life. That's a lot of stuff. Let's scrap all of that. I don't need any of it because I'm full up of clothes already. Although having this extra stuff, it just, just, just kind of feels good, you know? Although then I'm going to get to the point where I have to throw away all the stuff I just scrapped and it's completely redundant. But for the moment, it makes me feel like I'm achieving something. There are so many zombies in here. All I can hear is just like the groaning of different zombies. And it's not instilling me with a whole lot of confidence. Run past there. I didn't want to fall down a little gap between the buildings. That would have been a really bad time. Nope, missed him. Damn it, aim for the neck. There we go. So if you hit him in the bottom of the jaw, I'm pretty sure it still counts as a headshot. Damn it, I keep, I keep aiming up. Aim for the neck, Josh. Gotta remember, it's all about tactics and hitting your swings. God, this guy's moving so much. Woo! God. Ooh, there's a Yeti down there. New level up, though. More points to spend. And all I can hit. Look at them all. Jesus, Teddy, fucking Christ. There is a lot of zombies in here. Why were there so many people holed up in the roof of this bloody building? All right. I think they're all dead. There's just piles and piles of bodies everywhere. I can hear a Yeti Some of That's all right. There's probably some good stuff up there, actually. I'll get up there in a second. Let's quickly just do a little sweep. Make sure there's no one hiding or waiting for me to jump out at the last second and scare me half to death. Any dogs? Any anything? Nah, we're looking okay. All right, let's go take care of that Yeti real quick so he stops beating on walls. Oh, what is this place? I'm up in the ceiling where I'm probably not supposed to be. Damn it, definitely not supposed to be. He's given I just fell through the wall. But there's definitely something up there. Definitely something good. Uh, break into this and get myself another couch, whatever it's going to be. Ooh, a wall oven. You might have something good for me. Scrap that, scrap that. Thank you for the extra iron that I'll need to repair my uh, my club when the time comes. All right, run, 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 run across the broken floor. Oh, how you doing? Nope, nope, shit. I... Jesus Christ, I didn't have anything out to take him on. Can you not? Just yep, take the solid route around. There you go. Oh, never mind. It wasn't sold after all. Oh boy, this club is good though. I'm not sure where I am, but there's a ladder going up. I'm not sure if this is the way I was supposed to go or if I've just found a secret. I'm going to go with I found a secret because I am the best. All right, let's quickly kill you. There's another dude in the corner. That's all right. It's still early enough game that taking on the bigger dungeons like this means that there's usually not something too bad up here. I mean, I haven't seen any ferals yet. I say that now, which means I'm absolutely going to find some ferals in not a lot of time. Oh, big mama. Oh, I was about to say, let's see if there's anyone else up here. And you were sneaking up. How does someone this big move so quietly? You're like like three ninjas in one. Oh, look at all, this. Is, wait, did I just take a shortcut to the loot pile? Look at this. Oh, I said, oh, oh boy. Okay, gotta get up. Up, there we go. Run, 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 run. And up, there we go. Okay, good job. I'm not dealing with... Ow! Ow, Vulture. Ow, Vulture. Vulture, no. Oh my god, Vultures are bad. I don't like Vultures at all. We'll take care of you. The dog's still... Oh, shit shot. Dog's still down there. Kill you. Oh boy. Wildlife is the worst part of this game. Zombies aren't that bad. It's just the flappy bastards and the, like, the poory bastards and all the stuff that used to be animals. That's the worst part by a long, long way. Okay, let's quickly raid all of this stuff. Oh, there's another vulture. There's another. I see you. I see you. Don't you, don't you fly away from me. I ain't done with you yet. Come Damn it, missed it. Come on. There you go. There you go. Fly straight towards me. Lovely. Yes, finally. Not only did I find one shotgun, I found three shotguns. Let's scrap that one. And you, who's got the most amount? You've got the most amount. This will scrap you as well. I know I could probably keep. Oh, in fact, you know what? You know what? I feel like it'd be rude not to. I know the hunting rifle has served me well, but it would be rude not to put the purple on the shotgun. The purple shotgun is the shotgun of dreams. Let's put you back in here. Okay. We're good. That one gun store box has left me very, very happy. I also found some padding. Can I put you into something? 
Uh, maybe, no, you don't have any spots on you. Can I put you in into you, maybe? Can I put, uh, can I line the uh, the football helmet with some padding? Yes, I can. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. What a great box that was. First box down, plenty more to go. There's so much loot up here. I looted all the boxes and I got a whole bunch of good stuff. Look, I've got pistols. I've got shotguns. I've got another sledgehammer as well. It's just, I mean, I also got an AK and a better pistol. So I can't complain about the gubbins that I got out of those boxes. Before I go through and sort out all my inventory, I want to kill all of these Jeffreys first. Boom, right into your head. Just easy does it. Work our way through each one of them. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Being so ninja stealthy. I'm killing people right next to a zombie and they're not even noticing. Boom, look at that. 2,500 XP. Zombies are dead. Loot is gotten. Oh, it's good to be me sometimes. Okay, the zombies are dead, which gives me a chance to actually sort out all of my stuff. Now, scrap that pistol and replace it with level 4. Oh, I've got, I got, what, two AKs now? That's quite a lot. Let's scrap that one because, whatever, I don't need it. Uh, don't need you either. It's just a matter of, like, I mean, I know I could sell these things at some point, but I don't have... Uh, I, I don't know where the trader is, so I don't know when I'll be able to do that. Let's quickly stop all of those and repair that one for me real quick, because it only uses iron, which is very, very helpful. And then I can replace the blue dye that's in it, because it doesn't look good at blue anyway, with the spike mod. I wanted a better club. Not only did it give me a better club, it then gave me a mod for that better club, and I can make the pistol blue. Put you into there. Good, 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 good. We are looking really good. I really like this. Just do the last little bit of raiding inside the uh, working stiffs portion of the triple dungeon because I need to know if there's anything else in here. You know, I mean, I've, I'm never satisfied. I always want more. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, no, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, sometimes I don't like go down with the first swing and it makes me a little bit nervous. Anything else good in here? No, nope, nothing hiding behind there. Catch register's already been raided, so no tokens for Josh. Oh, there's just, there's just so much to do and no time to do it in. All the zombies have beaten down all the doors, though. There's been really quite... Angry. I've been up the top for a long time. And in the meantime, look at all the damage they've done. They've really done a number on this place. Oh, I'm back to here again. That's where I went up last time. Okay, so I've completed the search of this entire area. It is pretty late on in the day. And I mean that I have no room left to go and uh, keep exploring... I might want to head back down to the temperate zone at some point. Maybe I can stash down there. But first, I'm, I'll dro drop all of this stuff off back to stash 2. Because stash 2 is already established. I already know it's safe and secure. I don't have to worry about things in there. And then tomorrow, I absolutely need to go find a trader. It's, it's, this has gone on too long. In fact, I don't have any tokens for the vending machine. Not that I really need it. I've got plenty of water on me. I've just got oh, a lot of crap. I've got a lot of crap. I mean, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. Someday I'm going to find a trader. I don't know where it's going to be. It's probably going to be in town, but this is a pretty big town. I might have to head out to the outskirts, but I might do that now. I've got a little bit of time left in the day. Oh, no, but I'm encumbered. How am I encumbered now? Oh, I've got to scrap something. Okay, well, let's throw away the cross fragments. There we go. Look at that. Not encumbered anymore. Hey, because nobody likes being cucumbered. Well, I shouldn't say that out loud, actually. When I said it that loud, it sounded like something someone might actually enjoy. No judgment if that's your thing. You do you, but it ain't for me. I decided very, very bravely that given that it's already like a quarter past nine at night, there's definitely not enough time for me to venture out to the outskirts to try and find uh, a, uh, a trader. This town is massive. It's huge. I don't, like, I've barely explored any of it, and I don't know if there's any traders around. Well, I mean, look, that's a, that's a good problem to have. Having a big town to loot and find stuff in is definitely a better option than being in, like, a three-building village and having nothing. So, I mean, look, I won't complain too much. Uh, lots of more farms. Well, I haven't looted that farm all the way up there. Looted these two, though. I quite like my little uh, my little stash. My little stash two here. And uh, it's just a, a nice little uh, nice little like, garage with nothing in there. Used to be full of snakes, but not anymore. Let's grab these hay bales and get them in here and just set them up right in front of the door just to stop any just random wandering zombies was rolling in and ruining my day. Okay. Uh, torch. There is torch. Let's put you somewhere there. That should give me enough light for most of the building. Oh, okay. Let's sort out the inventory. It's always the most fun part of the episode when I come home after a long day of looting and I've got to sort all my shit out. I've managed to condense all of my stuff down to these two boxes. So all of like my items and ammo go in here. In fact, while I'm here, I probably get my shotgun ammo out and my pistol ammo out. I'll scrap that because I could use the iron and... I think that's about it. I need to take my hunting knife, and I've got those ones down there already. Okay, 
So that's kind of how I'm going to leave it. So the items and the mods go into here, as well as the ammo, which I should potato as well. And then everything else goes into this one over here and the garbage pile just there. So there's lots of things everywhere. I just need to try and keep track of it as best I can. Let's take you guys and put you back into here so all like the mods and schematics are in the same place. In fact, I need to sell those or take them with me. And tomorrow is going to be a big day where I go and I start selling all the random shit that I have. So everything that needs to get sold is coming with me tomorrow. I did find some corn seed, which is very, very important. I have a hoe. Uh, in the no crafting challenge, I can grow food. So when I eventually figure out where my base is going to be, I'm going to go and make a little farm just outside. Can I fit everything into here now? I don't think I'll be able to as much as I can. Now, nah, nothing. I'm going to sell the military fiber and the mechanical parts. Ah, uh, look, there's just, there's just some things in here that it doesn't seem valuable, but it apparently sells for quite a bit. All right, but with that sorted out and a new day about to break, it is time for me to end this episode. I will come back clearly and play some more No Crafting for Realsies this time in another episode and hopefully go and find myself the all-important trader. But I'll have to find the trader, Jeffrey, in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.